Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna to be talking about rifle barrels and more specifically cutting a nice concentric thread on the end of the muzzle and also putting a nice target crown on there. The target crown will generally speaking make your barrel a little more accurate as long as the projectile stops touching all the lands and grooves at the exact same instant. Because if it didn't, it would usually put a weird yaw or spin on the projectile on its way to the target. The concentric thread concern comes from me seeing Remington barrels as far out as five thousandths of an inch from center to AK barrels that are out as 14 thousandths of an inch. And let's say you wanted to use a sound suppressor that costs you $1,500. The last thing you really want to deal with is having a baffle strike. So right now I got a barrel on the lathe and I'm going to show you how to cut concentric threads. And then I'm going to show you on another barrel how to cut a nice crown. Just start. Quick finishing pass, not too bad. No problem, you did. Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. He's safe and on the range. All right, so here's the jig that I made up and we have it in a four jaw independent adjustable chuck and you can basically just adjust the chuck until this zeroes out. And then once this is zeroed out, you can put your barrel in there. And once your barrel's in there, you can zero out the outside of your barrel if you want, because that will get it relatively close. And then once you do that, you're gonna grab a gauge pin and this gauge pin is a, let's see if we can get it zoomed in there, is a 0.219 of an inch. Uh, this is the largest gauge pin that will actually fit inside the interior or the inside diameter of this barrel. Um, you can also go to Pacific Tool and Gauge and get actual barrel pins, but I just use the, the normal gauge pins that I have here. Uh, those have actually served me really well. Anyhow, so here's your, here's your jig. Uh, this hole right here is for bolt handles. And basically you have three adjustment screws on four sides. And basically what you do is you're going to put your gauge pin inside the inner bore and before you cut your threads or do a crown or anything like that, you're going to want to have it uh, perpendicular to the trajectory of the round. And you're going to want to, by doing this measurement, you're going to have the most concentricity to the center of the bore and the outside of the threads that you're going to cut on the barrel. So we got a couple of dial indicators here. And of course, we've got one on the outermost axis and one on the inner axis of the gauge pin. And if we rotate this, you can see, let's see if we get this in focus. Pretty much completely zeroed and you can see that we yes we are actually putting some force on there Let's see if we can get this to focus again and you can see the needle just moved just barely so we got maybe uh, two tenths of one thousandths of one inch and so we look up at this one this one's got just a hair more we almost have almost a full foul but through adjusting these in different ways and manners, you'll actually be able to get that out. And once you got a true zero here and true zero here on that gauge pin, then you'll be ready to cut the outside threads so you have more con concentricity. Um, and this will basically help a lot more with people who are gonna be running silencers or anything where the bullet will be passing through a very tight tolerance uh, end cap, uh, flash hider, brake, anything like that. And then you'll have, thereby having a more efficient system.
So obviously after taking the barrel off the lathe, you want to actually treat the metal somehow and probably one of the easiest ways to do it is with a little bit of bluing. You can do this through a bunch of different vendors that have gun bluing. Uh, gun bluing is just an acid and you can see the different finish that it gives the barrel. It's actually very close to the original finish that the barrel had on it. And then you coat it with some oil and then that's pretty much it. You're ready to put this on a rifle. So as you can see here, we have a different barrel in the fixture right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a crown on this one. So we guys still have the 0.219 gauge pin in there. And as you can see, as we turn this, we're sitting at about a little less than a thou there. And up here on the longer axis, we've got maybe a half thou there of rotation. So we'll get this zeroed out and then we're gonna cut a crown. All right, so we've got everything set up, ready to go. We do have the cross slide at an 11 degree, so it can cut an 11 degree crown. And you're generally gonna see a lot of that stuff in long range and very accurate barrels as well. Um, I, Having said that, I have cut a 90 degree crown and a more extreme angle of crown on barrels, and I've yielded very, very good accuracy results. And really all you're really looking for is to make sure that that line that you cut is perpendicular to the trajectory of the projectile. So the projectile as it's going down the barrel, it leaves all the lands and grooves evenly and at the same time. Obviously, if you had some sort of extreme angle on your crown, that would tip up the bullet and create some weird yaw as it decided to go towards the target and be less accurate. So let's get this cut. And that's what our crown looks like. And I do apologize for having my head in the way. I did want a better vantage point while I was cutting this. You can see we have a nice 11 degree crown and a nice little recess there in the barrel as well. And now all we have to do is finish it and however you want to finish your barrel, whether it be a bluing solution, have it nitrided, whatever you're really going to do. And that's pretty much it for cutting a crown on a barrel. Well, that's all I really have for you today. And I hope that this helped answer some questions that you may have had, or maybe just gave a few of you a better understanding of what you may have had a gunsmith do to your rifle barrel to make it a little more accurate. Anyhow, remember that loose is fast, brakes only slow you down. And as Townsend Whalen once said, only an accurate rifle is interesting. So remember to be safe, have fun on the range, and I'll see you next time.